I first started talking to Quantic Dream um, in August 2019. They approached us and asked like, look, we love Sea of Solitude because it's such a, a raw gem that deserves more. And we can help you to fulfill like all the little things that might can be polished a little bit and all the bigger things. I decided to rewrite the script of Sea of Solitude to make the experience like perfect, as perfect as possible. Is anyone out there? Sea of Solitude is about a young woman named Kay who is suffering from such strong loneliness that her inner feeling, the darkness, the anger, feeling of worthlessness, hopelessness, turns to the outside and she becomes a monster. The game is about finding out why this happened to her and how to turn her back into a human. What if you get hurt? What if you get lost? I don't... I... <sighs> I'm not a professional writer. Uh, I did that for the first time and I, I felt it, it would be so good to have like a, a professional that really knows its stuff, uh, how to do the things, like look over it. And when we uh, released the game, of course, the feedback, we ha have to be honest, the feedback, the reviews, the professional reviews, but also feedback from fans. There had been moments where they said like, I cried so much, it was beautiful. Um, but also like, ah, if it could be a little bit more subtle, a little less talking all the time, a little bit more sophisticated, not like so right in your face. What is this place? What happened here? The first thing we did was like cutting a, a lot of stuff because initially I just barely wanted to that anybody talks in the game. I just wanted to speak through metaphors, through visuals. But during the process of the development, we decided, okay, maybe it has to be m more direct, that people understand. Okay, I can't go to school today. I don't feel good. So when we had the chance, like, with Quantic Dream to rewrite with a writer, Stephen Bell, the first thing was cutting. Where are you? Connie and I both agreed that the script had just been kind of getting in the way of the game, that there was just way too much of it. Um, and that it was being more expository than the game and the players really needed. I just don't know who I am anymore. I think we probably cut a good third of the original dialogue. And then, you know, we just started having long talks about theme and tone and structure, as well as our, you know, talks about our own memories and relationships. I'm always walking on eggshells trying to put out fires before they start. We tried to give just enough voiceover to communicate that emotion and lived experience while allowing the interactivity and the art and the sound design to remain the driving forces of the narrative. Once we felt like we had really zeroed in on those memories and emotional phenomena, we just went sequence by sequence and character by character. I am so sorry. I don't know what happened. It's okay. I think almost every line of dialogue in the game was either changed or tweaked in some way, even if just in terms of placement. Um, we tried to give each character a distinct voice, a distinct cadence and sense of rhythm, while still finding ways to keep them linked and overlapping, being that they're all different manifestations of the same soul. What if we're wrong about being wrong? I found the new reécriture excellent. Tout était beaucoup plus fin, beaucoup plus, on dit sharp, voilà, beaucoup plus aiguisé. Euh, les propos étaient directs, tout en gardant la subtilité des personnages d'avant. Ben moi, j'étais très content de voir cette nouvelle version. C'était génial de pouvoir euh, travailler avec des dialogues aussi percutants, des arcs de personnages aussi intéressants. D'ailleurs, en fait, tous les jours de tournage avec euh, les comédiens, ils commençaient par une petite discussion autour du personnage et tous étaient extrêmement contents de l'écriture. Normalement, il y a En tout cas, il y a une nouvelle phase de réécriture pendant qu'on tourne. Hein. Ça arrive souvent que les comédiens nous fassent des nouvelles propositions, des, des petits changements de dialogue. Et je dois avouer que sur Sea of Solitude, on a eu peu de changements pendant le tournage. Donc c'était assez agréable justement d'avoir tout de suite la bonne matière pour tourner. 
I believe that narrative in games should be developed as an ongoing dialogue between story and system, that they should arise mutually and in constant communication with one another. The last thing that I want to do is force something that disrupts the connection between the player, the game world, and the central mechanic. And relatedly, you know, the better part of good storytelling is knowing what you don't have to say. <laughs> The more that we can hide story in the game world, the more players will actively hunt it down. That sound, it's in pain. He gave it like this sophisticated touch. And in overall art, he used the water and brought that into how the people are speaking in there, how the characters are speaking. And uh, also like a little sophisticated touch, not so right in your face, like I hate everything, blah, 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 but like a little bit more subtle. Don't tell the, the, the message like right in your face. And I, I was highly impressed. We'll find our way home. We'll try. How do we find our way home, okay?